All right, hello, wine drinking people. Today is Thursday, the eighth of January, and ninth uh, of January. Sorry, it's uh, a little slow getting things started here this year, but we have got a lot of great events the rest of this month, and uh, several of them are already sold out, like the Mouton tasting. You know, some of the more expensive, exclusive events that we do sell out quicker than any of the other events. We've got our best of tasting a week from tomorrow night. Our Bordeaux tasting here tomorrow night already sold out. The best of, and eh, we can do a few more people with that. As long as the weather's nice, we still got a little bit of room for that and a lot of other great events coming up. Check it out on our calendar of events. But today I'm here to tell you about one of my favorite wines from Washington State. And those of you that have been watching the show know that we are getting into Washington State in a big way. I've been out there the last two years to check out the wine auction, and I have to say I made quite a few friends and, uh, well, you know, I've learned something that I knew. These wines from Red Mountain, where Hedges Winery is located, are some of the best wines made in Washington State. And, you know, the Columbia Valley is a rather large appellation. And they've been defining all the smaller areas within the Columbia Valley that make great wines. Red Mountain is geologically unique. It's very small. Only about 4,000 acres in all of Red Mountain. It's a little bit warmer here, so the wines have a little more richness to them. And uh, they have this distinct minerality to them that is really unique and let me tell you everyone who's anyone who's anyone in Washington State are trying to get a little piece of Red Mountain Dirt. Well Tom and Anne Marie Hedges started this winery in 1989. Tom was in the food business and uh, well he was approached to make a wine for the Swiss hotel chain and uh, he made this his first wine and all of the first two vintages were sold to this uh, Swiss group and then uh, these wines met with such great acclaim they started making their own wines and selling them you know all over the world they're sold in all 50 states today I believe in I believe a dozen different countries in addition to, to the, the first country it was sold in and uh, these wines today because they bought the land way back then some of the greatest values you'll find for Red Mountain this Red Mountain Red here is a hundred percent Red Mountain fruit it's twenty five dollars a lot of wines today in Red Mountain are double or triple that price. This is one of the greatest values you will find in Washington State, this Red Mountain Red from 2010, which was a cooler vintage. And in a cooler vintage, you can keep the wines a lot longer. This is a wine that's better on the second day after it's open. It's a big wine. It's a pretty much a Bordeaux-style blend with a little bit of Syrah thrown in there. Um, Malbec, Merlot, Syrah, Cab Franc, and uh, from various different vineyard sites there. They list everything here for you. Very detailed information this winery gives you about the wines. But the important thing, very rich, solid core of black cherry, black currant, berry fruit in the nose. Notes of that fresh, distinct red mountain terroir that you get showing through. Some mocha, some wood spice here also. A big wine on the palate. 2010, a cooler vintage. So a lot of freshness to this wine but a lot of juicy fruit also and a lot of lovely nuance and spice showing through like i said on the second day this wine really opening up nicely and hey for under 15 bucks the cms cabernet Malo syrah uh and the cms white also two outstanding wines they've also got another label called independent producers which are incredible value the whites and a screw cap today which we love so check it out everything from this benchmark winery in Red Mountain Hedges on this offering today. I'm your host, Andrew Lampasoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.